Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Diamond Redux. In the last part, we took on Team Galactic, we took on One Brigade, and we um, backtracked to Drupal Life City and went, out, went down north of Drupal Life City. So yeah, we battled with Dawn too against Team Galactic. So let's just go into the Ravage Path, and let's smash this smashable rock right here. Why not? Now again, as you get Surf, and you can Surf on water, you'll be able to access more of this area. But for right now, we can only get this one item, which I forget what it was. Dang it! Right there! Of course I run into Zubat right when I'm in front of the item. Here's TM39 Rock Tube, which is really cool. Um, it always lowers, your spe it always lowers the opponent's speed, I believe. And, but it's not really that powerful, but if you have Rock-type Pokemon, it's a good, it's, I think it's slightly better than Rock Throw, honestly. So it's something to consider if you have a rock type like a Geodude or an Onix or something like that. So yeah, um, this rock appears to be breakable. Would you like to smash th to use rock smash? Yes, we would love to use rock smash. And look at that, we can actually get through here now. Which is nice. So now here we are on route 204, still the same route I believe. Let's talk to you, youngster. Are you raising different kinds of Pokemon? If you only have the same type of Pokemon, you have, you'll have a hard time against types that it's weak to. I know. I'm, I'm, raising, I'm raising different types. I know how this works. So let's take on this Aruma lady. I believe is what this trainer is, or who this trainer is, I should say. Let's have a battle while smelling the aroma of flowers. That was an easy battle. I think this is like a repel or something. Awakening, of course it's awakening. Awakening would have been my second guess actually. Okay, so here's a bug catcher up there. Let's see if we can avoid wild Pokemon in here. Yes, we can. And I skipped, I want, I like, I snuck right past him. But I don't want to battle you for the experience. Say listen, what's your opinion on bug Pokemon? They're cool, but they're not my favorite type of Pokemon. Okay, right here's a tree which we can't cut down, but it looks like it can be cut down, of course. Uh, here's our first double battle in the game, except for if you want to include, well, their second double battle in the game, I would say, because we had a double battle with Dawn in the last part. Okay, Liv says, um, we can one-shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? We'll see about that. Liz says, we're the strongest in our class. Okay, so, um, I think, uh, yeah, Inferno did learn Furious Reps in that fight, and they both leveled up Inferno to level 16 and Rose to level 17, which is pretty cool. So let's see, um, summary, I'm gonna switch Scratch and Fury to Fury Swipes, so real quick, there we go. So if we go over here, here's an item over here, I forget what it's, I think it's TM10 Bolt Seed or something. Yeah, TM, oh, TM09, excuse me, Bolt Seed. Okay, so it's really, it's really, um, good starting Grass-type move. If you, if you have a Grass-type does, that doesn't know any Grass-type moves. But other than that, we really wouldn't recommend teaching it to, like, um, like a Turtwig or anything. Because, like, you might just... I accidentally went to the Pokemon Center too fast. You were on full in time, by the way. But as I was saying, if you have a Turtwig, I mean, like, if you teach a Bolt Seed, Bolt Seed, you're most likely going to forget that move later on. For better moves, for like better grass type moves, like Razor Leaf or something like that. So keep that in mind when trying to teach that to a uh, grass type Pokemon. Just something to consider. Here's Owen Berries. We can actually get berries now, I think, so that's awesome. And some here's a Cherry Berry, and we got an Owen Berry from the last bo uh, plant, I guess you could say. If we go in here, I think we get the, um, the Psyduck Pail or something like that. Um, plant berries, plant one, there's more berries in this one, which I just put more berries everywhere. And she gives you a nice Spear Berry, cool. So I think this is where you can like buy mulch and stuff or something for your. Oh wait, no. 
just a bunch of flowers. Google Google specs like that. There's a lot of items you can get. Oh wait, you have to um, wait. You have to have you have to have um, f for a photo board you have to have 200 blue berries. For a mirror ball you have to have 250 durin berries. I don't. These aren't even common berries. So it's like you start from the very top. It's more common. So like you need 10 raspberries to get it. Oh man, it tells you how many are in your bag already. Like, I've never actually collected any of those berries to that extent, so I don't really. I'll skip out on it. Oh, it's called a spray duck, but it looks like a psyduck. I'll show it to you real quick. Bag, key items. Yeah, it looks like a it looks like a psyduck really. Uh, a watering can that's shaped like a psyduck. It helps promote healthy growth growth of berries planted in soft soil. Cool. Um, if I can get out of here, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to go to the Pokemon because I did that in the last part. If we go up here, here's more Team Galactic grunts. They're just arguing. Grunt one says, "Aren't you with? Aren't we Team Galactic?" And we, when we are assigned here, standing around, among, standing among flowers. This doesn't. This doesn't seem all that cool. Grunt two says, "Hey now, don't complain. This is a pretty decent assignment, but Bug and Grass type Pokemon so creep me out." Um, I don't like being here either. Yeah. That's cool. Here's some more berries. We got Chesto Berry here, which um, restores sleep. By the way, Cherry Berry restores paralysis of one Pokemon for one use. And one berry increase, uh, restores 10 HP of your health po of your Pokemon's HP. Here's a Petra Berry. That's, that um, cures poison for one use of one Pokemon. So yeah, let's just run across here. Oh look, this girl's all shocked. Help, help, trainer. Please, can you get my papa for me? He works at the Valley Windworks, but the people dressed like spacemen are are mean and won't let me in. Okay, here is route. If I can read the sign, that'd be great. Uh, here is okay. That says Route 205 from Warmer Town. Okay. So if we go up here, these galactic grunts will be like, we team galactic are conducting research in the Turner Forest. This is as far as you c will go. Our research involves catching Pokemon in the flowering meadows of Flamorama Town. We, we, are, we are also using the energy of the Valium Works for something. But that is all, that is all, this, but that is of no concern to you. They just push us back. Okay, so we can't go that way yet. That's on the next route, by the way. There is a Pokemon I want to catch in here, so um, yeah, let me switch to, well, I can start with Inferno, I guess. So let's see if we can find it. On the first try, awesome, we found it. Yeah, this, this is Buizel's level 7, awesome, it's female, cool, 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 cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scratch it, see how much it does. I could have used Ember, but I don't want to faint this thing. Good, okay, good. It's gonna use Water Gun on us, which is super effective. Or Water Gun on, on Inferno. But that's okay. I'm gonna switch out to um, Rose now to paralyze it with Stun Spore. So it's easier to catch. Yes, this is good. It's gonna use Growl on us, okay. And if we use Stun Spore like I planned, there we go. Oh, I missed. Dang it. Water Spout, okay. Or water Sport. Water Spout's a different move for like a Whirlwind or something. Or a Kyogre. It's a very powerful water type move then, but Water Sport's different. And it's paralyzed now. Awesome. Yeah, there we go. It's paralyzed. I can't move. Okay. So let's use bag. This is why I bought a net ball, is because I want to try to catch up weasel in this net ball here. So let's try it. Let's see. One, two, three. And we caught it in net ball. Awesome. That's it. Was added to the Pokedex. Okay, so it's number 56 in the center decks, Weasel, Sea Weasel Pokemon. It, its height is 2 feet 4 inches. It's, it weighs 65 pounds. It, it has a flotation sack that is like an inflatable collar. It floats and on water with its head out. Cool. 
give a nickname to this weasel? Yes. Um, I decided to nickname it Jetta because um, Jetta is a girl name, I guess. And um, that like it, it, we'll learn the move Aqua Jet eventually. And I just Jetta seems cool. And I'm gonna keep it spelled like that. If I misspelled it, I mean, oh well. It still looks cool to me. Jetta, G J E T T A. Works for me. Nice. So let's see this. The stats on Jetta. Um, let's see here. Um, it's a quirky nature. Um, it, it hates to lose. Okay. Um, happily eats anything. Dang it! I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it! Are you kidding me? M messed it up. Messed it up already. Okay. So it likes to eat anything. Swift swim is ability. So in rain, it raises its speed, which is pretty cool. Attack is 14. Defense is 11. Special attack is 11, 13. I should say. Um, special defense is 10. Speed is 18. Uh, let's rearrange some of these moves. Water gun should go first. Then quick attack. Yeah, then more split thing grow. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to put Jet at the front. There we go. That's how I want my Pokemon ordered. Yeah. Good, I didn't want to... D dang it! I like how I was like, oh yeah, I got out of the wild grass without running into Pokemon. But then I walked right into the grass, or ran right into the grass by mistake. There's a potion, by the way. Um, let's take talk to this Galactic Grunt right here. Don't you dare go into the Valley of Windworks. I got ordered to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that, me that makes me think you're going to try to get in. Okay, then. You'll have to battle with me for it. So let's battle this Team Galactic Grunt. Why not? Glamia, okay. So it's a normal type Pokemon. I'm gonna switch to um Inferno then. I'm just gonna do the old switcheroo trick with uh, Jetta to get for to get experience. Fake out, okay, it doesn't really matter because I wasn't putting on attacking because I'd use my turn. Uh, jokes on you. Mock punch attack. Hopefully this will one hit KO it, but we'll see what happens. There we go, and yeah, when it gets it it's only level eleven, so it's not too tough. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like I really supposed to win with a Pokemon like that or something, like you said. Thanks for four hundred forty Poke dollars. Isn't just this great. It's not getting owned by some kid, <laughs> but you're not. But you can't do a thing. If I lock myself in with my works key, that's right. The other works key is not here. Thanks for telling me that. There's another works key somewhere. The cohorts in the far patch have the the other only other one. Thanks for telling me where it is. Uh, that's in the, in that sense. I'm now a loser. No longer the loser. We'll see about that, Kaklunk, and he locks the door. The door is locked from the inside. Of course it is. Okay, so, um, yeah. Let's just go back and heal. But I'm going to cut the part right here, so it's been then on my Pokemon Diamond Redux walkthrough guide part. And the next part will take on the, the two, um, Galactic Grunts over here in the corner, who are not in the corner anymore. I see they're somewhere else. So yeah, this has been Giant Go again. I would like to mention again, goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redux walkthrough guide.